Hi everybody, my name is Carly and I am here today to talk to you about non-attachment manifesting. Now you all may be thinking, well I manifest all the time and a career that I'm looking for or a partnership that I'm waiting for or I'm waiting for that specific someone to come into my life, they're over there. I can just about, you know, see the romance on the horizon but I just can't bring them in. You may be manifesting but it's not going to actually work until we provide ourselves with a non-attachment manifestation. Now how we do that is we detach ourselves from the fear, from the lack, that feeling that not having what we want in our life is making us feel crippled inside, it's making us feel anxious, we just can't quite clear that negative energy around us of the not having. Because of that, we're putting that out to the universe and the universe is reflecting back. If, for example, you have a smudge on your face and somebody tells you, you know, you've got a bit of lipstick there, you've got a bit of pen mark there, you'll go into the bathroom, but you won't wipe it off the mirror, you'll wipe it off yourself. So what you're doing is you're creating the positive energy that you're taking it upon yourself to actually do something for you that's positive. So if you're sitting there feeling crippled with the fear that this situation is not happening, it's not going to happen because you are basically a mirror to the universe of your own reflection. What you put out, you get back. So you're going to take it upon yourself to detach from what we don't have in our life that we are wanting. So you may be thinking, but how can I do that? If I don't let that person know that I'm here, they're not going to be around much longer. They're going to disappear. They're going to think I'm not interested. If I don't start applying for that job or hanging on to the fact that that job may come to me, that job may disappear. But that is not true. What happens is, is the universe will give us opportunities to be able to grab on to what we are wanting to bring into our lives but we have to take action. We have to put out a positive vibe to the universe to let it know that, hey, we want this. We want that relationship. We want it with that person or we want that job in particular. So we will then strive to do that. It may be that you undertake training. It may be that you detach yourself from the person around you. You no longer text them or try and get in their sort of their, um, their area, their face. And what will happen is, is that person, when you start feeling how they're feeling about you, put yourself in their shoes, put that on them, that they're feeling positive about you, they're thinking about you, they've got a great energy in wondering, hang on, where are they, where are they gone? They're not contacting me anymore. I don't see that person every day now. You will soon start to realize that you'll get more clarity from a relationship coming in, from that job coming in that you're applying for, that you're training for, rather than sitting there worrying, feeling trapped. So you are detaching yourself from the worry and the lack of a relationship or career not coming your way. When you put yourself into that person's shoes, for example, a relationship or attracting a person that you had your eye on, so they're the same thing, you will start to feel a sense of relief that you are feeling positive, so they must be feeling positive. You're living in the present tense. You're creating a like-for-like -like situation. And for that, you will feel uplifted. You will start to feel, because we are energy, you'll start to feel aligned with the universe and you will start to see things coming your way. You're going to write down exactly what you want from this relationship or what you want from a job and then when you write all that down maybe burn it outside in the garden one night under a new moon or a full moon even and then leave that walk away and literally just focus on the positives from what you're wanting when you start feeling doubtful that this is actually going to happen and come around for you snap out of that and immediately start to feel positive again around the situation it's like water. Water's all around us. We can go to a tap, we can get a glass of water. But the minute we start feeling that we're first in, there's no water around us, we start to panic. We start to think, oh, you know, I'm first, I need a drink. However, if you take yourself away from that situation and you don't think about it, you'll realise it's all around us. We are basically creating our own realm of what we want it's out there it's all around us we just have to attract it and you will attract it by putting that positivity out to the universe to attract it back